Will somebody talk to me? Stavros took a call, Anonymous. I took out the one in the other room and Crocker chased his partner. Uh, Crocker, would you like to join us over here? What? Now, Jamie Webb, uh, 28 years old, lives on 43rd Street. All right, see what you can find out about him, okay? Anything that relates to him, including people. Okay. Go ahead. This guy that you chased, can you ID him? No. No, why no? He was ahead of me. All right, how far ahead? I don't know. Hey, a few seconds. Maybe, I don't know. Crocker, no maybes. You gotta know. Every step you took by the time you left the precinct. And we start now. I was, I was chasing this guy and he was running towards the street. I heard these footsteps. It's a hell of a place an hour for friends to meet. Well, so far we have the very normal reactions of a police officer in the line of duty doing just what he's supposed to be doing, nothing to get excited about. Did you hear about the girl? She made it to the hospital. FIAU is going to want to question you in Saperstein tonight. Don't talk to them until Kojak and I finish with you. Well, uh, I, I want to go to the hospital. Now, the bullet was lodged in the lower lumbar three. And, uh, according to Dr. Meyer, there's no more danger of hemorrhaging. Well, what is there danger of, Doctor? Well, the bullet apparently caused enough nerve damage to produce paralysis of the lower limbs. Why don't you remove it? Oh, well, we can't. Not yet, anyway. Oh, well, is that a... Is that a life sentence, or can she appeal it? Well, more tests are being set up. They don't look very encouraging at this point. Thank you, Doctor. Bobby. Hey, Bobby. He shot an armed criminal in the act of committing a felony. He shot at you. You shot at him, and that's the way it was. You can't hold yourself responsible. I shot an innocent girl. Maybe I killed her. At least I crippled her. Now, when you carry that in your gut, don't tell me how to feel. <laughs> 